Hello everyone, it's Marky. How's it going guys? Welcome to this Bat episode where I'm going to show you the latest Hot Wheels Batmobiles and Bat vehicles that uh, I have. This one right here is a present, a gift from my nephew. He got me this one. He just found it at Target, he told me. And he found this one at Target as well, which is the Bat Copter. And I'm going to take advantage of this moment and show you these new Batmobiles and some of the latest Batmobiles that have come out by uh, Hot Wheels and some of the older ones that I have in the collection. I do collect a lot of Batman stuff. So it is unusual when I don't pick up a Batman item that I do find. And uh, probably just because I might have it already or have a similar one. But I have so many Batman items. Let me start with the latest, which is the ones my nephew just got me, the Batcopter. This one right here is a really nice die cast helicopter. It looks like the one that was used in their movie and in their episodes from 1966, 67, and what, maybe 68. The Batman Classic TV Series Batcopter. It does have the Hot Wheels logo on there and the Batman Classic TV Series logo. And I haven't opened this one yet. And I just got this one from my nephew. Thank you very much, JC. I appreciate this very much. And uh, that was awesome. A nice surprise. He stopped by my house and dropped this off. And he got me this one, which is really cool as well. Hot Wheels Batman. Kind of looks like the uh, old comic books logo. I have some vintage comic books, so I I am very uh, familiar with that logo, and it's a really cool 1940s Batmobile. Very awesome, a lot of details on it, and again, this one is made by Hot Wheels. This one has a couple other cars you can collect in the series: the Dark Knight Batmobile, the Batman vs Superman Batmobile, the Batman Returns Bat Ski Boat. In the 1980s Batmobile, which I want to see that one. I want to see what that looks like because that's the one I have here in the uh, plastic version made for uh, for kids to play with. I'm going to take a real quick look at this one or show you guys real quick so I can get it out of the way. And I do have the figures for it. And I bought this one a while back. This one has a feature where this pops out. It's kind of like a batarang thing. A really cool uh, steering wheel here, the bat steering wheel. And nice console in there with the gauges and all that cool stuff. Nice, uh, just very nice all around. I love it. I think it's awesome. And there's a back view for this one. So awesome. This one is from the uh, cartoon, the animation series from long ago that you can still see on YouTube. And let me get them out of the way. Let me move these around, guys. Uh, and here's another one that I got as a gift for, uh, I think it was my birthday or Christmas uh, one or two years ago. Maybe more, maybe three years ago from my wife. And I think they're still available at Target. I think I've seen these. This one comes with Robin sitting in the uh, in the seat back there, talking on the telephone, and you have Batman standing up. And it's a really nice, beautiful die-cast Batmobile. And it's pretty big, as you can see. Here's my hand. It's a pretty big uh, Batmobile. You can see my hand right there. Very, very nice. I love that one. So beautiful, totally well made. I do have this one right here, which is made by Jada Toys, which I th I thought was so awesome. Uh, it's a pullback vehicle. And I think this one I found at Big Lots. And you can see there, Jada Toys made in Vietnam. But a lot of detail on this little uh, pullback toy. I think this one was $5. And it's really worth it. It's it's really amazing. It's so well done. And I've collected all kinds of figures and stuff. Another 
one that I have here is pretty recent. This one came out, I think, earlier this year in the blue. And I just recently picked it up in the new recolor from M case. So this one's just a couple cases back with the red details on it. So we have the this one already open. I had shown this one before, I believe. And I picked up the red one, never showed it, but here it is. I do I did collect it or pick it up and I still have it here. Uh from M case. And they show the Batman animated series logo on this one. And there they are, two, di two different uh, variations. Really cool how they did the flat black with the red and then the metallic blue with the nice blue logos. They do have the Hot Wheels logo on them right there and right here on the wing. And of course they come on the Hot Wheels card. And you can see back here, M case and copyrighted 2020. So this one is probably still out there. You can probably still find this one. And I do have this uh, Ertl Bruce Wayne from Batman the Animated Series. I call it Ertl. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's E-R-T-L. And you can see right there. 1992 copyright. The Bruce Wayne car from the Animated Series. Travels around with Alfred in this beautiful car. I believe Alfred drives this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think Alfred drives when he's sitting in this car, right? And then here's the um, the Batmobile from the same series from ERTL or Ertl, as I like to call it, Ertl. <laughs> and this one's really cool. So accurate to the actual series, the actual TV series. A little dusty, but uh, cleans up. Every once in a while, I'll clean it up and it shines like new. So these I bought new and I got them off the card myself. I've had these for a long time already. They're really beautiful. If you like the Batman animated series, definitely. So those are would be some to uh, look out for. These are from the Michael Keaton movie times, also made by Ertl. This one has a little damage on the bottom where this uh, base falls off, so I'm holding it so it won't come off. But uh, ERTL 1989, and this is the Batmobile that came with this series. And uh, this is the one that Michael Keaton, the actor, uh, drives in the movie. Really awesome movie. And let me put these aside. Here is, while I move these out of the way, I'm going to put my... Uh, this is one that Hasbro made, Batgirl, and little motorcycle this one is also a little dusty let me get a little closer on that one batgirl also from the animated series you can see just like in the animated series that's her look hard to do while i'm holding this uh this vehicle right here but let me let me move these out of the way i'm starting to have too many things here in the way let me move this over here and I'm moving these cars over here. And um, recently by Hot Wheels, we got the helicopter with the black and blue. It says back backcopter. Also, another one that I haven't opened, I keep it like this Batman. This one has a DC logo on it Hot Wheels, die cast, backcopter. And where are the numbers on this? Uh, this looks like an international number. And 2018 copyright on this one. And they also gave us a 2017 from P case. Of copyright 2017, maybe it was around 2018, I don't know. This one I did open up and I have previously shown it. The back copter with the purple and yellow colors and the black wings, black blades on it. So that was like a variation of this one right here. You can get uh, either color. I mean, well, one is in one case and then one comes later on. And they also released this one not too long ago in this uh, blue color. This is like the Michael Keaton Batmobile. And uh, it is a treasure hunt. You can see right there and on the back of the card little treasure hunt symbol. 
Recently, they had a black one. Um, not the same Batmobile like from the newer movie with the cannon on top, which was a treasure hunt as well. I did get that one, but I don't know where I put him because I couldn't find him. I do have a lot of more, a lot more Batman uh, collectibles and figures and all kinds of stuff that I that I've collected. But I'm not gonna show you everything I own today of Batman, just some of them because I do own a lot of Batman stuff. I'm a collector, guys, so I collect a lot of stuff. <laughs> Collect all kinds of things. This one's a beautiful one because this one's a metallic blue with the silver interior and light blue glass. Something that you don't see every day in a Batmobile. Kind of like a one of a kind here. This was the 50th anniversary, 2018. Has the Batman Classic TV Series logo on it. So cool. From 2018, the 50th anniversary Batmobile for Mattel. The 20, uh, 50th anniversary of Mattel. Uh, Hot Wheels, I mean, of Hot Wheels Mattel. And um, it's copyrighted 2017, but this was issued 2018. And it's so beautiful in this color. This one is really awesome. Probably a little harder to find now. And let's compare it to one of the uh, later releases or earlier releases in black where they had changed the wheels on it. And it has a similar interior with a similar glass. So it looks like they were trying to do different variations so that you would collect all of them, I guess. But it says the 66 Batmobile, faster than ever, 2009 version. Wow, so this one goes further back than what I thought. Very cool, and I love the card on that one too. Really cool, and look at the card on this one with the blue. Pretty nice, and the 50th anniversary logo, very, very cool. For the uh, Batmobile enthusiast or Batman collector, awesome items. I think these are more recent from what I remember. I think these just came out one or two years ago. TV series Batmobile with a clear glass and red interior. And this one has something different that a lot of Batmobiles don't have. The Bat logo right on the hood. And you can see it has couple of gray stripes as well. So this one has different decorations on it. See the gray stripe on the bottom? Right there. So a little different than what you usually see in a Batmobile. No, no gray colors on most map. Batmobiles are just black with the red details. So this one is like a variation and different wheels on it. And then we have one with the typical five spokes that they use a lot that came out no logo on the hood, it's all black and some of the red details. As you can see, it also has the blue glass. This one has the clear glass. This one has the blue glass. And a different size logo on the door, I think. Uh, maybe not, it's the same. I thought it was different for, for some reason. But they do have a lot of differences. If you start looking, there's a lot of little things that are different on these. And I also have this one by Hot Wheels, again, which is pretty cool. Let me just move these to the side, guys. Let me move these over here real quick. There we go. And this one is number five of eight, Batmobile Affinity Series. With the red canopies, and it does have the uh, big plastic black wings on top with die-cast metal body in black. And this one I never opened. This one also has the double engines in the back. Bigger wheel looks like in the back, just a little bigger. Malaysia, there's no year on there. But back here, it is copyrighted 2011. And here was like a Batman series that they were putting out. I never did collect all of these. I got some of them, but not all of them. And of course, now I wish I had gotten them all. <laughs> Now I wish I had them all. I do have this one over here that came out in purple. It's the same one, same car, different series though. This one's a 2004 first edition. So the first time they ever issued this one, one of a hundred, the Batmobile number one for the year. I think it's just, it's not that they made 200, I mean a hundred uh, Batmobiles. I think they just, cars were numbered one to a hundred or the cards for that year. Now we're up to 250 a year of different Hot Wheels, but here it is in purple. 
couple of different combinations. Chrome interior with a clack with the see-through glass on this one. Very cool. And then here's another one that was available just probably one or two years ago. I remember seeing this, getting this one at Walmart not too long ago. Very cool. This one comes with the rubber rubber tires, metal on metal. It's part of the uh, Real Riders Metal on Metal series, TV series Batmobile. So another variation. This one has the black interior with the um, kind of like a pretty clear glass. It might have a little smoke to it, a little smoky color to it. And uh, and hard to see that we go. Very, very cool. The card is beautiful. It's a little bigger, just like the Hot Wheels Premiums. They all come with this size card. And it is part of the Hot Wheels Premium Series. So Hot Wheels has put out a lot of uh, Batmobile items or Batman items. Here's another one made by Hot Wheels. I put that one in the pile down here. DC Universe and has a really cool graphic on the card. This one is a wider card, Batman trademark. And there it is, black and chrome. Here's the back end on this one and the front. And then this one had this series where you had Bane and Wonder Woman and it was 2011. The copyright on there and I can't remember does it go back that far I can't remember here's one from the Red Line Club I used to be a member of the Red Line Club not a member anymore but uh, this is one of the Batmobiles from the Red Line Club and it's in this uh, blister pack I should have should take it out because it's a little it's a little yellow this uh, blister pack well maybe not <laughs> Either way, here it is. Hot Wheels, Red Line Club, hottest metal cars in the world. Beautiful chrome on the, uh, that looks so cool. The chrome Hot Wheels logo. And the car itself looks amazing. Let's get a little closer on this one. You can see how the wheels look. They have the red lines on them. A lot more painted detail inside and on the top there. A lot of silver, uh, chrome or silver lining on the uh, canopies there or the glass the windshields very very nice metal on the base rubber tires it's kind of like a premium set Mattel toy makers the old vintage logo and club exclusive 1966 TV series Batmobile and then back here you have this foil number Number 11,999 out of 13,428. Holy Hot Wheels, Batman. <laughs> and then some info here. And the copyright of this one, 2007. I've had this one for a long time. And then they also released this one, Hot Wheels, released uh, these uh, really cool Batmobiles, classic TV series in these boxes. Classic TV series. This one has that silver interior again. Really cool wheels on this one. And they, did, they went with the plastic uh, see-through glass on top and the, uh, for the windshields. And here's the back end. I mean, the back of the <laughs> card. And this one is copyrighted 2012. Oh, I collect a lot of Batman stuff. <laughs> All right. And here's one of my favorites. I gotta say, one of my favorites that Hot Wheels put out, which is the Batmobile with the Batboat and trailer. You have to buy these separately. So this one comes in a box, very similar to um, to the one my nephew gave me, a, 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 not the same box, but very similar to this kind of box. Let me uh, back up a little bit. And you see this box, there we go. And uh, it's, it comes box like this. So you get the Batmobile in one box, and then you have the uh, Batboat in a different box. And let's get closer. There we go. And you see that? It's beautiful. It really is. So, so nice. There we go. Now we can see it better. 
This one's a beauty. I just love it. Out of all the uh, Batmobiles and that I have and the uh, Batman stuff, I really love this one. It's really, uh, really cool. And the Batmobile just looks amazing. Look at that. A little dusty, but man, this one looks so cool. I do have some of the old Corgi ones too and stuff like that. And I have this Adam West figure. I'm moving my Batmobiles around here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have another Hot Wheels right here. This one is not Batman, but the Joker. And it's a really cool vehicle, this one. Is a 63 Studebaker Champ. Pretty, pretty amazing. What a beautiful pickup truck. It does have all the Joker stuff on it. <laughs> Back here as well. This one is a premium. Real Riders, metal on metal. You can see right there. And there he is. Red and white. White walls on it. Here's the front end. All die cast, really heavy. Metal on the bottom, on the base. Metal base, metal chassis. Check out the wheels on this one. It's a beauty, it really is. Look at that. So let me back off on this one a little bit. And that's what the car looks like. So they've been making Batman items for a while. And I'm a Batman fan. I love Batman, so I collect all kinds of Batman things. I also picked up these a while back. And this is a Batmobile that Hot Wheels put out that looks a lot like the one that I have there pulling the trailer. Very, very cool. I love this one. I think they did a great job on this one. Looks amazing. This one has the dark interior with some red details for the phone and some other stuff in there. Looks really amazing. Look at the front end. Check it out. Looks really cool. I never did open this one because I have some so many open Batmobiles already. But uh, this one is so cool. I think they did a great job on this one. This one also goes back to 2007 on the copyright, so it may be around... 2008, 2007. This this series was really cool. Look at all the classic Batmobiles they put out there. The comic book, the animated series. The Dark Knight is there. And the Bat Cycle, which I did pick up. I never got these three, but I got these two right here. Which I really liked them. Really, really nice. And here we go. Here is the Bat Cycle. 1966 TV series Bat Cycle by Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels version. Here's the Batman logo, the classic logo. In the white and black colors instead of the yellow and black and purple. This one has like blue highlights on it. And then the actual Bat Cycle has the red and white going on, just like on the TV series. And look at all the details on there. It's really amazing. Look at that. Handlebars, the gas tank looks so cool. The seat is amazing. Little light here on the back. Very, very awesome. Look at that logo on the back, the Batman logo, so cool. They did a great job on these. I don't know why I haven't opened this one. This one is one that I should be displaying in my case. And there's a picture of it, like what it looks like when you get it out of the package. So this is going to be awesome to release from its box. <laughs> it's going to look so cool. Another 2007 issue. Very, very cool. And might as well go ahead and show you some of the items I have here. Um, I think that's it for, for diecast right now. I have more, like I said, I have more... Batmobiles and stuff, but they're in cases and stuff like that. Kind of hard to get to. Things are piled up in my garage. Here's a Batman figure. I think this was a McDonald's Batman figure, and don't know what he did. Can't remember. I think I may have gotten this one like at Goodwill or something. 
and uh, it's got the moving arm there. I don't remember what this one would have. And here's one from the Batman animated series, which I love that series. I do have the figures in their packages and I have a bunch of loose ones from the Batman animated series and a bunch from, from different DC series and whatever. Different Batman series that they put out different figures. So I have this one, which is really, really cool. And this one is from the WB, The Batman. It's called The Batman. It's kind of funny because it's kind of like the same name they're using in the new movie. They're calling it The Batman. <coughs> Excuse me, the new movie that's coming out. I saw the coming attractions this weekend. And uh, here it is from The Batman. I do have... Uh, a uh, good handful of figures from the Batman series in their packages, never opened. And I have some loose ones. I know I have the loose uh, Robin and loose Batgirl, just like this one, just out of the package and loose and in pretty good condition. And let, what else do I have here? I have this vintage figure that you can see here. It has some damage, but this was a cool find. Batman figure, and it's a bank. And it looks like it used to belong to Melanie. And yeah, I bought this one like an antique shop. National Periodical Publications, 1966. And I've seen a lot of Batman, old Batman items at flea markets and stuff like that. But they, they want a lot of money for a lot of the items. So this one I got really cheap and I couldn't pass it up. I think I paid $10 for this one. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. All I know is it was a good deal and I, I had to have it. So I got this really cool old bank and I keep that in my case. This is another cool find I had at a flea market. And I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was very, very reasonable. And it's an old, old figure. I can't remember the year on it. Let's see if we can see something here. National Periodical. Copyright 1974, made in Hong Kong. So you know this is old, made in Hong Kong. And look at that, it still has his cape, which is impressive, because kids would always lose these kind of things. Depend on, depends on the kid, <laughs> if he was rough with his toys or not. But what a beauty, look at the face. <laughs> it's so unique, has his own look. Batman, let's see what his body looks like on the motorcycle, if we lift the cape a little bit. There we go. Pretty cool vehicle. This one is not die cast, it's all plastic. But I had to have it, I had to have it. Something so unique. I've never seen another one like it. I don't know, maybe there's millions out there, I don't know. <laughs> and let's see, let's take a look. Here's a Batman Adam West that was issued a while back. Eight inch retro superhero, collect them all. And it says Series 5, so I don't know. I guess they put a bunch of them out. I don't know. Don't really know much about the series. Just know that I got one. And here's an Adult Collector Batman Classic TV Series. I know I saw a lot of different figures of these. I got the Batman. But there was like um, a lot of the characters in the show uh, available. And then I have this one, which is a Captain Action figure. And Captain Action is a... A, uh, action figure that you could buy different uniforms for you can he could be like the green hornet or he could be uh the lone ranger you could dress him up in different outfits that they would sell this is the batman outfit that you would buy separately and there he is with his boots and he's got his uh utility belt his emblem on there very very cool and his cow is like a two-piece Put the front part on and then the top the the top goes on it goes on top the other part <laughs> i'm all tongue-tied there and then this one is from the new batman adventures which included robin and nightwing from the tv series and this one is pretty cool it's a 12 inch batman figure and it looks just like the batman from the animated series from the first series it looks just like him but they started to add other other characters and change the name to the new Batman Adventures. And I do have some other figures, a bunch of them actually from that series and the animated series in the uh, smaller versions on the cards that I never opened up that are 
pretty cool. I found them in the stores. With this one comes with a firing batarang. Awesome figure, 12 inch figure. Then over here I have a Batman. Uh, let me let me grab him, bring him over here. I can put the, the camera down. This one is pretty cool as well. Batman figure it has a different look than the uh, the other one behind her, which is Adam West. Looks like it has a different sculpt and bigger muscles on his legs there, you can see. And this one says DC Comics 75. They have Black Manta, Aquaman, Batman, Two-Face, Retro Action, DC Super Heroes. These were available at Toys R Us, I think, and those, I don't know, all those kind of stores. And the back of the card, and this one is made in China. Copyright, copyright is 2010 on this one. So many cool Batman items. I have so much more, guys, but uh, just thought I'd show you some of these along with my diecast Batman collection. All right, guys, if you like this video, please smash the like button. Don't forget to smash that like button. I hope you enjoyed it, checking out all the Batman items. I'm going to see you in the next video.